Hello, this is Enterprise Headlines. Investors have lost $252 billion on the Nigerian stock exchange in the two trading sections after the Monetary Policy Committee meeting was cancelled. The meeting was called off due to the inability to form a quorum. The Senate has refused to confirm nominees to replace retired members of the committee. In July 2017, the Senate said it would not confirm federal appointees until Ibrahim Magu is removed as acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The Bank of Industry has opened applications for a new round of graduate entrepreneurship fund, in which it is taking two billion for seven national youth core members to have access to funding to expand their businesses. The funding, a 0% interest rate loan, will be disbursed to selected applicants who met the requirements of the bank. 50% of loan amount to be disbursed after successful installation and testing of the equipment. African political and business leaders have joined other heads of state from the rest of the world, as well as global business executives at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. African leaders have taken to social media to share the messages and objectives with the citizens back home. Zimbabwe's president, Mnangagwa, said that he would tell the delegates at the forum that the new Zimbabwe is open for business, looking to the future and ready to take its place among the family of nations. The European Union is ready to support Zimbabwe's rearrangement with international financial institutions once the new government presents clear plan for political and economic reform. That could include providing election monitors when Zimbabweans vote later this year for the first time, since former President Robert Mugabe resigned following a de facto military coup in November after nearly four decades in power. The Southern African nation became a pariah under Mugabe when it invaded on its foreign debt in 1999 and was slapped with Western sanctions over alleged vote region and the violent seizure of white-owned firms. The population of Beijing, the capital city of China, fell for the first time in two decades, state media reported Wednesday, amid ongoing efforts by the city's government to drive out migrant workers. Beijing's population dropped by 0.1% in 2017, according to government figures, with 22,000 fewer permanent residents than the previous year. In total, China's capital has a population of 21.7 million people, more than London and New York combined. Shanghai also saw a small population drop in 2017, according to state media, falling by 13,700 to a total of 24.18 million. It was the first time both cities' population fell in the same year in four decades, state media reported. Moving now to sports. Romelu Lukaku, 24-year-old, joined United for 75 million euro on a five-year contract last July after scoring 25 league goals in 37 matches in the last campaign for Everton. His prolific form garnered interest from several leading sides in Europe, including former club Chelsea, where he previously worked under United manager Jose Mario. Romelu Lukaku has the ability to rip apart defences, but the Belgian maxman may need a year under his belt as Manchester United to be more consistent. And that's it on Enterprise Headlines.